Hello, everybody. It's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everybody's well. So, it's the 22nd of August. I'm starting September readings. Is that progress? I think that's progress. Uh, I'm having a moment. Just let me have my moment. Okay. I'm having a little bit of a moment. Hold on a second. I have to yell at a kid to stop, like, you know, having the TV so loud. Hold on. As I grab the TV remote. Oh, my gosh. Just give me a second. Dear God, he doesn't have to have it at, like, 60. It's not that big of a house. And he's, like, right next to it. Anyway. Okay. Here we go. Virgo, it's your season. Happy birthday. We're going to start. We're going to start this off with you. So, here we go. Come on now. Come on now. All right. So reading me for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for September 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. With the message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon Rising, your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers are always welcome at the first sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table and I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. Okay. While you're here, if you wouldn't mind. Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. I got a card popping out. While you're here, if you wouldn't mind, if you're new and like what you see, if, if you think we vibe, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you, you know, enjoy the reading, go ahead and hit the like button. It all helps the channel. It is greatly appreciated. What flew out? King of Cups reversed. Is somebody emotionally closing themselves off to something? Is it you or the person you're dealing with? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Okay. I'm putting it back in. So, we'll see if it comes back out. Okay. Before I invoke the cards, there's a couple of quick things we got to go over. One, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. What does that mean? I can't believe I keep doing this. I might just, after this set, just put it down in the in the, in the description of the video so I don't have to say it every time. If it's going to fuck your universe up, if you make the wrong choice, do not listen to a deck of cards. Go inside and figure it out for yourself. Two, if the cards in the table and the message in it don't vibe with you, if it doesn't resonate, if it doesn't make sense, it's probably not yours. Leave it on the table. Take what resonates, that's fine. You're more than welcome to do that, but leave what don't, okay? If the shoe don't fit, don't buy it, okay? Don't buy the shoes if they don't fit. It's that easy. Queen of Wands, star reversed. Could be a fire sign you're dealing with, Leo specifically. Haven't quite had the healing process. I don't know. I don't know. Something you haven't healed from. I'm feeling something you haven't healed from. We'll see if they come back out. The cards just want to talk. Gosh. King of Pentacles in the world. Could be an end to a financial struggle. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use this gift to bring Virgo to their highest possible spiritual good, put them on their highest possible spiritual path for September. Virgo, why are you here? I want the release of a burden. Okay. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to do this a little different than I've been doing it. Okay. Fair enough. This is why you're here. I'm not even going to clarify this. We're leaving this alone. No clarity needed. All right. Okay. 
quick look in the rearview mirror. What happened? Judgment. Resurrection. Did you bring something back from the dead? No judgment. It's fine. No judgment. I don't know. Present the Empress. Some of you may be pregnant. Just throwing that out there. Doesn't have to be, so don't flip out and panic. It just it's one of the things that the cards mean, okay? It's it's one of the meanings. Don't flip out. Something's growing. There's potential. But there's a burden. You got a monkey on your back. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Immediate future, the sun. Outcome, five of pentacles. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. I don't have a clarifier deck right here, so. I'm feeling fire. Leave that there. But overall is a ten of wands. I'm going to use the steampunk deck to catch the energy of the person you're dealing with. One moment. Sorry, my son got a bloody nose, so I had to like um, frantically run out of the room and deal with that. Okay, anyway, we're going to use the um, steampunk deck to get the energy of the person you're dealing with, which is typically... Yeah, I mean, it's the deck I typically use for fire signs, but I don't know. It just called to me. And I don't have another clarifier because I put up the universal. And the heaven and earth tarot is staying in its box for a little bit. So, okay. Universe source, spirit guides. Can I get the energy of the person or situation Virgo is dealing with for the month of September, please? It's not feeling stalkerific, but this Knight of Swords was unexpected communication. I feel like that was kind of out of nowhere. Current energy, Wheel of Fortune. Closing of a cycle, new cycles, upward directions immediate future you have the sun they have the page of wands hmm action 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 five of pentacles magician for the outcome good god how the hell do we go from this to this is it because you're this Clarity. Clarity! Alright. Now that I'm thoroughly confused. So you brought something back from the dead. This Empress card, this could... Could be someone you have a family with or children with.
what came out? Nine of Swords reversed came out. Somebody might be back crap bonkers, or somebody's not going to give this a second thought at the end of the day. I don't know. We'll, we'll... Trying not to think about it. Good clarity. What's up with judgment? Oh, shoot. Hi. Hey, hi. How you doing? Queen of Cups. You had a great deal of love for this person. Deep emotions. Is that why you brought it back from the dead? Did you, did you still love this person? Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. Why is the Knight of Swords here for them? Six of Cups revert. Oh, well. One more. Salt and the sugar. Hard feelings. Bad taste in the mouth. What? Page of Pentacles. Oh. Did they leave a bad taste in your mouth? Somebody apologized to you in the past? An unexpected apology? Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? The sun. The sun. You're happy. This is a soulmate connection. Full real could be a Leo you're dealing with. No left fire on the board. Ace of Swords. Reversed. Happy potential for growth could be issues of communication. Queen of Swords reversed. Oh. You're not speaking, are you? The domestic partner just got home, blowing up my phone. I think you still got a little bit of a bad taste in your mouth, but the connection is still there. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for the person Virgo is dealing with? Current energy, death reversed, dropping a bunch of cards. I'm just going to take the death reversed. I'm not going to take the rest of them. Situation hasn't changed. Didn't evolve. Six of Wands reversed, lack of victory. Might be time to close it out because you still have a bad taste in your mouth and you still, bur still feel burdened by this. Mm. Immediate future. Why is the sun here? Nine of Wands reversed, Four of Pentacles reversed. You are letting this go. You are throwing in the towel. You are letting it go. Okay. Hermit. It's your card, Virgo. It's it, it, it's, I think you're in a good place. 
You acknowledge the connection, but you're throwing in the towel. The connection is there. It is undeniable. You might have a child with this person. Okay, fine. You're going to be in a state of self-reflection and going inside and figuring things out. For whatever reason, this left a horrible taste in your mouth. They might have been a little bit stalkerific with the Knight of Swords. It's not throwing off a huge vibe of that, though. I'm feeling unexpected apology off of that still. Possibly an unexpected apology for constantly being all up in your shit. I don't know. I don't know. If it vibes, take it. If it don't, leave it. Why is the Page of Wands here for them for the immediate future? Love is reversed! Disconnect of a soulmate union! Nine of Pentacles reversed! They still got the hots for you in the immediate future. They still letting you know. Might be a little bit weepy, not so confident because they didn't get picked. Lovers reversed. Three of Pentacles. Three of Swords reversed, Four of Wands reversed. Willing to be cooperative? I mean, that's okay. Cool being friends? Eh. Coming out of the state of heartbreak, uh, they understand that there's no, fo no foundation here, and nothing can be built at this point or at this time in the immediate future. How about that? How about that? They get it. They're willing to just be friends, or at least try to just be friends, but they still got a bad for you. They ain't thrilled. Their confidence has been a little, a little messed up. And that's what I'm seeing in the future. Definitely. All right. Why the, fi why the five of pentacles for Virgo for the outcome? Emperor reversed. What the hell? Mm. Temperance. Why the Emperor reversed? Karma, dear God, why? Dear God, why? <laughs> maybe you're gonna go inside and decide, hey, maybe I might wanna give this another go. Maybe I might wanna give this another go. Kind of don't want to put you out in the cold, but that emperor reversed. A little out of control. Temperance, emperor reversed. Balance in the chaos. Trying to come into calmer energy with this person. Maybe you want them to be a little bit less out of control, and if they're a little bit less out of control, they can come in out of the cold? I don't know. I feel like you're going to try to resurrect this again, though. The moon! <laughs> might have something to do with the next moon cycle. I don't know. It's Pisces. This might carry out into Pisces season. I don't know. I don't, I, that, that, the moon. The moon. There's two moons. The moon. The moon. Somewhere between... New, somewhere between now and the new moon... Look at the moon phases. Look at the moon. I, I never know the difference between waxing and waning. Something to do with the moon. Between the phases of the moon. Let me know how this plays out. Like between the September full moon 
and the new moon in September. Just, just let me know. Because I feel like you're going to come into calmer waters with this person. And you may have made up your mind by then. What's this magician doing here? The outcome for the other person. What's this magician doing here? Again, fives are change. That just popped into my head. Fives are change with that five of pentacles. The situation, it's like a game changer. Seven of cups. <laughs> They're trying to regain their balance. They're understanding that they may not be stable enough. They're trying to manifest stability, working on it, and this is just going to throw them into a state of confusion because you can't make up your mind, Virgo. You do, then you don't. Then you do, then you don't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, I think I'm... I don't think... I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here. I feel like ultimately... You just need to release the burden, figure out why this is burdensome, release it. And sometimes when we release things, what happens when we, when we uncycles and release things? As above, so below, if it is meant to be, it shall be. If it is not, it will not. No matter how many times you try to reverse a judgment call. If it is not meant to be, it will not be. Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Justice. You need to allow this to balance out. You might need to be single for a bit. Figure out your shit. And then start that new cycle if you so choose. Okay. Hierophant showed up. So did temperance. You want this to work out. The energy is between you got to be positive. You can't have this salt and sugar shit. So if the energies do indeed become positive between you. And they got to stay that way. I mean, I understand it's not always bliss, but it's maintain. You got to maintain. Go inside, figure it out. Okay. You are the catch. But this may be a matter of divine timing. You might have to wait this out for a little bit. Don't get all up in your head about it. Don't let this consume you. King of Wands showed up twice. Might be dealing with a fire sign. Maybe that's why I picked the deck I usually use fire signs for. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of fire on this board right now. I will say that. Funny thing about soulmate connections. What is meant to be shall be. What is not meant to be will not be. Some come for a season, some come for a reason, and it is up to you to sort out what's what. All right, Virgo, I love you. Have a wonderful September. Might see you mid month. I don't know. See how it goes. Right now, right now I'm in high vibe and I 
pretty much have my illness under control. So I'm able to like sit and read and things are coming back into alignment in my life. So that's cool, right? Okay, know that you're loved. Be blessed. I'm going to hang it up for the night. And I will catch you next time. Okay, take care.